Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a 24 hour makeover. I know that's really dramatic, but I need a lot of time to go from this to... So here's a little twirl. Oh my God, I only rolled my ankle. <laughs> so we have to tan, get my nails done. I've got to do something about my hair. I've got to take my eyelashes off and then obviously outfit, makeup, all of that stuff. There's a lot of things that we're gonna to have to go through today, but the first thing that we're going to do, oh God, this nail needs, needs help. The first thing that we're gonna do is take my eyelashes off and I would not recommend doing this on your own. This is just something that I've kind of like YouTube had to do and I don't have time to go get them professionally removed off again. So let's take them off because they're just, they've been on for two weeks and they're just like super uneven and look bad right now, so let's go. So what I'm gonna take is a little bit of olive oil. It is recommended to use coconut oil, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this, cotton pads, micellar cleansing water, and some cotton tips. So I'm just gonna look down and coat that on the extensions, Bindi. How fun. They're just like not coming out, like not one. Yeah. Hi there, I was just wondering if you do um, eyelash extension removals. Yes, we do. Woo! All right fam, so I'm on my way right now to get these taken off, so say goodbye. You, know, you wouldn't think this is a part of like a makeover because like you think putting them on is, but like trust me, if you want big fat lashes that look like birds, that's like 100% makeover, that's stick-ons. My eyelashes are off, I look like a boy. Now it's time to go get these nails fixed. If that isn't the grossest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is, like that's foul. Oh, oh my God, yay, my nails are done. They're looking kind of like very natural. I have a photo shoot coming up in a few days, so I'm not allowed anything long, unfortunately, but my toes are looking cute as well. Oh my God. So I got this rash on my leg. Look how crazy that is. I got so scared. Cause like, I don't know. You don't know if they're like cleaning all the products properly. And she's like, maybe it's from like shaving. And I'm like, are you kidding? My legs are like the hair on my legs, are like one meter long. It's not from shaving. Oh, okay. So I just finished washing my hair, got out of the shower, shaved my legs. Scrub my tan off. I mean, not, not that I really had much of a tan on, but you know, just got rid of my dry skin. So I literally feel as smooth as a dolphin. You know, when you get out of, the, out of the shower and you shave and you're like, oh my God, feel my legs, feel my legs. Yeah, we're all fresh, silky soft. Now I'm gonna go in with some tan. So then tomorrow, I'll have my tan back. <gasps> oh, it's cold. All right, well. I guess I'm just gonna go finish off my whole body. Wait, I want you guys to see the difference. This is crazy. So that's literally what that tiny amount of tan did. So I'm gonna go finish my whole body and I'll be right back. Well, I'll be back in the morning when it's developed. Thank you, bye. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tan right now. Okay, let's get into the shower and rinse this off. I just had the best sleep. I feel amazing. Ah! Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's time to do my morning skincare routine. I've completely changed mine up, so I will update um, you guys on that very soon, but it is very dramatic. I'll tell you that right now. Whew. So there's like five or six steps. So anyways, um, we are going to get a haircut. Well, you're going to come watch me get a haircut. I want to get my hair nice and short again, so... Let's do this. Oh my God, look at my little alfalfa. <laughs> so I'm just on my way to get my hair cut now. I'm going to a new salon, so uh, hopefully it's good. One of my friends recommended it to me. I need to find a new salon in Brisbane that I love. So I'm starting my little hunt today, but my hair is just at such an awkward length and I just want it to be like a nice, nice like clean length, okay? So I'm about uh, 15 minutes away, so I'll see you when I'm there. So that's so short, I love it. Yay. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. I can tell you too. Are they alright or are they dry? So, just got my hair done, got it all cut off and curled for the big old makeover tonight. 
Love that. All right, time to go home and get ready. I've just gone ahead and pinned my fringe back so we can do the makeup. So today, of course, I'm going to make sure I do a very dramatic makeup look. Obviously, this is like full glam. So the first thing that I always like to do is start with carving out underneath my eyebrows. And I, ooh, and I, ooh, I always use my P. Louise base. This is in the shade 03 Rumor. Yeah, I'm just using this Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. It's amazing. And it makes the brows like super super defined it's great eyes are primed now let's go in with the eyeshadow so i'm taking the natasha denona safari palette i've never used this one before but they always have such amazing formulas so the first color i'm going in with is this one right here i'm going to pop this in my crease as the transition shade. Wow, this is very pigmented. Love that. I didn't realize it was gonna be this orange, but that's great. The next color I'm taking is this beautiful color up here. I actually love how that one looks. Oh wow, I have a chunk of lipstick on my nails, love that. So I'm just gonna take a smaller blending brush and then blend this a little bit further down. Next product I'm taking is this BH Cosmetics Pressed, actually no, this is a loose pigment. So I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm gonna pack this all over the lid and then we're gonna go in with that on the lid. Okay, so my eyelashes are on. Now it is time for the face. So I just primed. Now it's time to go in with the foundation. So we have this Bounce Liquid Longwear Foundation from Luna Beauty Blender. Oh my god, this color is so perfect. I'm in the shade 3.65. So perfect neutral tone. That's not too pink or too yellow. Then of course, going in with my favorite concealer, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Well, actually it's this one and uh, my Tarte one. Now I'm going in to shape the brows. So I'm taking my Anastasia uh, Brow Powder Duo in the shade Soft Brown and this amazing Morphe brush, it is the E29. And of course, I'm just gonna create uh, a little arch up here because I don't have one right now, thank you. Now, of course, it is time to do the lower lash line. So let's finish off the eyes so that is fully complete. I'm going to take this shade right here that we put in the crease, and I'm going to take this from outer corner all the way to inner corner. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and put the darker shade on the outer half of my lower lash line, but very close to it. Now it's time for the good old bronzer. I'm going to go crazy with this. So I'm just taking an angled brush. This is literally the easiest way. <coughs> I just inhaled. Uh, the easiest way to apply bronzer, I feel, because you have that precision, but it's still a fluffy brush, so it's not going to be too harsh, you know. It is the Morphe Y4. This one is amazing. It is the NARS Luster. So it's more of like a coral shade. So we're going to pop this on the apples, blend it back. This is such a beautiful color. Okay, so literally for the star of the show, I'm taking the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Obviously, I want my face to be like, very glowy, um, so I'm going with heaps of this. I'm scared my, my um, hair's gonna like get wet. Now for the highlight, I'm taking the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade one with my Anastasia um, A23 brush. This is the best. It's been dirty for so long, so I haven't used it, but it's good to be back. So I just like to pat this on just because I don't want to move my foundation or anything because I have already put a lot of that dewy spray on. The lip liner I'm going to use today is the Jouer Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Sable. This is more of like a pinky shade, so I'm going to do that instead of doing nude because I always do nude. So that is the difference with the overlining. I've done this side, obviously. Oh my God, look how crazy that looks. And then the liquid lipstick I'm using is the Jeffree Star in the shade Gemini. I haven't used this in so long. Oh my God. Now going in with my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the shade Milkshake. I always like to go in with this color um, for like an ombre lip. So I just pack that in the middle, or well, pat it, and then just pat that down. Come on in. <coughs> Hi. Do I look pretty? Yeah. So I have a few outfits here that I am going to choose from. So the first one is like white and it comes up around the neck so it's very classy it is a little bit short but it's still like you know covered in this region otherwise we have this really pretty yellow dress which i think is fun because my eyeshadow is like an orangey kind of shade so i feel like it'll look pretty and it's really soft material as well and it's classy um i don't know i'm just like i'm stuck between these two but you know what i think this one 
is more fun. So let's try this. This is what the dress looks like. I think it's really cute. It's like really soft material as well. So I feel like I'm kind of in bed, which is my favorite place to be. So I'm like very happy right now. And it's got puffy sleeves. A few moments later. I had a little bit of a quarter life crisis. I was about to say mid life crisis. And I feel like that dress just wasn't working for me. So I've gotten to this outfit. It's quite cute. This is from Mesh here, so I'm very happy with it. Um, and now it is time for some jewelry. So in here I have all of like my favorite jewelry. Oh, there we go. Thank you. And then I'm gonna take my necklace. Oh, this is the worst part, putting on your own necklaces. Like, where's Tommy so I can annoy him and ask him to put it on? He actually hates doing that. It's kind of funny, I do it on purpose. Oh, it's the wrong way. So I'm gonna pop on these hoops. Um, these literally go with every single outfit. They're from Colette and they're literally $3, so I love that for me. Um, I've had them for a while, definitely gone through a few of them in my um, clubbing life. <laughs> you know, on the floor of the clubs, love that. All right, follow me. So I'm gonna go with a nude bag right now because I need to have some color in my outfit. So I'm gonna take this little YSL right here. Um, I don't think I have any nude shoes, but let's go have a look. Ah, oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I don't really know what heels to wear though. Maybe these ones, but they're so hard to walk in. Otherwise we have these clear ones right here. Hmm. I mean, I think the nude heels are better. They're just easy to put on, you know. Okay, so the outfit and everything is done. That is all for my 24 hour makeover. So here's a little twirl. Oh my God, I only rolled my ankle. <laughs> These shoes are so hard to walk in. I would not recommend getting any sort of heel that has like a little stem like this thin, okay? I actually love this whole look. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you so much and I'm about to go out to dinner. So I'll speak to you later. Mwah.